It's rich to go on about personal attacks when I sat through half an hour of it from members on those other position benches. So it's my turn. So there is no whip on this side here, Mr. Mayor. But let me first start with an apology to all those people that voted Conservative over the years have been betrayed by those people on my right. And I will uh, go into them a little bit. But when I came here tonight, I, I thought it was Halloween, because I thought it was in a freak show. But actually, I've realised we're into panto season now, aren't we? And all the cast are lining up here to take their roles. So let's deal with a couple of them. John Howard, lovely to see you. I'll be out there campaigning in your ward again. This time it won't be for you, though. It was to get rid of you, because you betrayed the people. Brian Rush, I was afraid. You talk about cancer. You need to look it up. Look it up, my friends. And in the dictionary, it will tell you all about cancer. It is, quote, an evil or destructive practice or phenomenon that is hard to contain or eradicate. Put it in context. It is not meant to be. Just as gambling is a cancer <coughs> spreading across the country. Would anybody disagree with that? So let's get the facts right. It's not about people, it's about context. So let's put that uh, to bed, shall we? Uh, so, Labour and Libs, by the way, are whipped. I'm trying to me personally, it's, it's, it's whipped. You're all whipped. So you are all whipped. Now, look. Let me go for those here. We're not all whipped. We don't have it yet. But it's a little technical. I'll whip. So you can say it's this show. But what is your point, Cancer? What inflection I've never said that to you. Uh, yes, he did. Cancer said he picked him down with us today. <laughs> so, so look, let, let's get this straight. Peter the First are not a constituted, elected, democratic group of people by the public. You've got a man who's being proposed as the leader. And by the way, you're a liar. I'll tell you what, Cancer. <laughs> quite tolerant because I appreciate this is about personality to some extent, but I'm not going to allow that to I'm going to explain why. I'm going to explain why. Well, let me just say why I think that's true. You withdraw the remark. I'll withdraw the remark, but I'm going to give it up. Thank you very much. Councillor Wiggins, so sit down for Councillor Wiggins. Yeah, kind of starting backwards again. Peter referred to Cancer as a cancer. Yes, he did. Yeah, and he um, they are as legitimate as the Conservative Party in terms of standing for election and forming groups in councils. Yes. So the councillor uh, uh, this chair would be correct that as well. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, sorry, can I just say to you, Councillor Bond, that I'm a writer of the legal officer that you're not allowed to film in the council. I, I, I couldn't care, that's why it continues. So the example I was going to give, Councillor Farouk made a statement to the press, and so it was probably not out, that said Councillor Farouk was exonerated for being a breach of the rules of our party. That is simply not true. Who on this side agrees with me that that is not true? He was found in breach of Conservative Party rules and given a warning. That was what happened. So both of you stop telling lies about it. Councillor Fitzgerald, I'm not going to have you using that language. You've done it twice. I'll withdraw it that then, Mr. Mayor. I'll withdraw it. I'll withdraw it. Misleading, shall we say, because it's not true. And for the press, you just saw all those people state that that to be the fact. Then you've got Councillor Sakipro, who wrote to me and said he didn't have any time to do any committees because he was too busy. So that's interesting. That's interesting. Councillor Peter Hiller, the silent man in all this. <laughs> who I sacked from the cabinet for doing a bad job. That's why he got sacked. Yes, uh, yeah, you, 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 is it, what point is there? It's the point of that period. So I was going to that I wasn't sacked from the cabinet as mm -hmm. councillor. Fitzgerald has just uh, indicated, I won't say live, because that's not horrible, that's horrible. Mm -hmm. And it's against our values, I completely get that. Mm -hmm. I wasn't sacked from the cabinet. Um, councillor Fitzgerald offered me a different role in the cabinet, which I subsequently refused. And then he disingenuously offered me another colleague's role in the cabinet that he was going to appoint. And I refused that too. So I wasn't sat, retract that statement. Uh, no, because I'm, I'm the one that made the decision. And as far as I'm concerned, I removed you from your position. 
at the position you're in. But out of respect for your length of service, yeah, I shall you've got to do Well, I can't be serviced about the interruptions I had. No, but the stop the clock was stopped. Okay. Well in which case then I shall conclude my remarks in a couple of times. I really have nothing to be ashamed of. He didn't withdraw that remark. Okay, I'm going to give you a chance to respond to the point of accuracy. I will. He was sacked as a planning lead. That's what happened. Okay, so that's. Okay, so I've got a line. Thank you, Mr. Pete, for what's your point? As a point of accuracy, I've got the email. I wrote to ask to understand the committee not to, because of my role in the NHS, I did not ask to do no committees whatsoever. Okay. I think that's going to be a matter of opinion. So, well, you, look, we we we've got opinions. So, I have three minutes. I, 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 I have three minutes for that, and it is all personal. It's all been very restrained over this point. So, could you now sit down and have your time? I have nothing to be ashamed of. <laughs> <laughs> not been like sit down. Thank you very much. Right, I'm just going, we're just going to have a short adjournment.